two weeks ago we were getting ready for the second of two major finals. Now we're here on the start of a new season, but you're double champions. How exciting is that? Uh, yeah, boys are definitely excited to get back into it. Um, it's, it's been a bit weird in terms of having such a short, short break, but in a sense it's almost a positive in that you, you're not going to lose as much over two weeks because you haven't had the time to. Um, we're also, we've been playing rugby a relatively short time ago, so again, it's fairly fresh in everyone's brains, it's, every fresh, it's fairly fresh in everyone's minds, so boys are keen to get back and it showed today with a very good training session. For you personally, how much did it mean to lift those two trophies? You know, you've been through so much with this club, but that's got to be right up there, the pinnacle at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty surreal. Um, you know, I don't think you'd be able to top that, but particularly in the terms it was it was back to back, um, you know, going from one final to the other, having to get that emotional reset right. And, you know, as well as the, the physical physical reset from the, from the boys' bodies, it was, you know, really tough. And, you know, anything could have topped it would have been having uh, fans and family. That would have been, you know, absolutely top notch. But, yeah, phenomenal effort. Equally, Rob's talked about it, and I think a few of you have. That moment after the game where you just went into your own insular bubble as a team, didn't you? And you had your moments on the pitch with family. You you were blubbing like a crybaby, like always. But they were special memories. They were things you probably wouldn't have got if fans, family were there. Yeah, it, it was kind of a, a, a different order to how you, you do things normally. I think when we won the, our first Premiership title, it was kind of, you know, jubilation on the pitch with, with the, the teammates around you. And then it was... You know, you go on the outside, you see all the fans, and there was, you know, I had a, I had a crowd of mates in the, fa in the fans that be on the uh, the north stand. You know, and that, and that lasts for ages, and you go back to your family, and you see your family for ages, and then it's kind of the, the last bit you have is is the, the emotion amongst the boys and the celebrations amongst the boys, and you know, by then the, the tears have made it disappear. And I think, you know, that there was there was a lot of emotion going around because it was amongst the lads and I think you know as a group we've been through so much over the past couple of years in terms of getting to finals and being so close and, and not quite getting over that final hurdle I think to achieve something so special with, with just that group was was amazing and that's why you saw such emotion there's, there's so much care within this group um, you know and that's why the emotional came out you know for, for boys leaving like Stina and Dolly and, and, and Dave Dennis as well you know to, to see those boys <laughs> you know your bottom lips up quivering straight away um, but yeah, you know, I think I think that's what makes it special is, is the emotion that goes into it. The strangest of seasons, but that was probably fitting reward for the hard work that you all put in. You know, you, you had to sacrifice so much in terms of going out. The families had to. There was so much you had to give to that second half of the season, that lockdown period, I call, that, that made you, you know, made it even more special, I'd imagine. Yeah, and you kind of look back at the, the whole prolonged break of the, of the first lockdown we had in terms of how well the lads actually approach that there was there was so much you know genuine hard training that went into that and that's full credit to, to the lads and also the SNC for you know the, the small bits they put out but also the encouragement they, they gave the groups James Parks you know needs a special mention for that some of the videos he put together for the boys um, but yeah you know, you know it, was, it was tough particularly in those last few weeks of of going into the big finals you know there, there was almost a fear of leaving the house just in case you got a positive test from absolutely nowhere um, which is, is crazy. It was just how committed the lads were just to, to making everything happen. We, we were leaving kind of no no stone on How real was that, you know, in terms of, you? was there literally, you know, you go out, you think one more false move and I'm out of things and, here. And that's the thing, you know, at, at one point, you, you, all it needs is a text message from the doctor saying, you know, you, you tested positive, I'm sorry, there's nothing you can, you know, there, there is literally nothing you can do. There's, there's two weeks of isolation at home. If you've got it in those last couple of weeks of the season, that's it. That's that's your final miss. That's a European final and a Premiership final out the window. So, yeah, it was it was a bit of an odd scenario, but thankfully we got through it and all, all the lads got through it together and we, we've come out on the right side of it. Let's look ahead to this season now. Everyone starts on zero again and Harlequins. A game when we look back at last season was one that probably hurts a little. And you played so well up there for long periods, but then let it slip. Yeah, and I, I think fair play to Harlequins. We almost got outworked. Um, you know, I was. I was watching it last year because I was, I was in rehab with my arm, but it, it kind of, when you look back, we, we've been talking about the stats after the game is, we pride ourselves on how hard we can work. And, you know, looking back through it, we, we weren't hitting max levels. I think apparently it was, it was some of our lowest scores in terms of distance and things like that. Um, I think potentially out of the whole season. So, you know, you, you can't turn up to a premiership game of rugby without giving it your all. If you, if you don't give it absolutely everything, you're not going to get the result that you want. And this season you go in as double champions, a huge target on your back, but is that a challenge you relish? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a nice challenge to have. 
um, you know, teams who are going to come after us. It's going to mean that every week we're going to have to bring our A game. Um, and you're going to have to stand up and perform or else, or else, again, you're going to be on the wrong side of the result. And to top it off as well, teams will be, you know, over the moon to, to beat you. So you, you've got to make sure that you get everything right in the week, you get your training right, and ultimately you turn up and perform at the weekend.